Hello, Brother Monroe here, uh, and welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Um, I hope uh, all the settings are right. Again, I'm still trying to get used to my new setup. Uh, if you finding me hard to hear or anything like that, are you getting uh, background noise or anything like that, just uh, give me a shout in the chat and I'll, I'll get that fixed. Anyway, today what we are doing is, or what I decided to do was, I mean, I know... Um, a few, you know, this is definitely something that <laughs> you want to try when you get this game. Um, and there's loads of different ways you can do it. But this is going to tr at an attempt at playing the Battle of Jutland. Now, this was the largest uh, kind of engagement between surface vessels ever, basically. Um, certainly the largest involving battleships as the main kind of weapon um, and as you can see from the setup um, one thing I do need to check is the uh, starting range actually so this is not exactly historical because you know Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts is not a simulator it doesn't claim to be a simulator it is a game, it is a uh, designed to be fun so there are a lot of limits on what you're actually able to do um, the first limitation is you can't really design all the ships in the battle so I can't design the German side for instance um, I'm going to be playing this as British because I am British um, we're going to try and do better than the Royal Navy did historically um, that's the goal anyway uh, so, I'm just trying to find the engage initial engagement range. Um, contact. Um, do do. Dum -ba -dum. That doesn't say. I'm just going to set it to uh, quite large because uh, let's go for 32,000 meters. That's the first, that's kind of like um, I think that's a reasonable distance to start at, um, and it's roughly when the two fleets were starting to engage. So I'm going to go into design ship. Too many ships. Yes, this may affect performance. Hmm. <laughs> yes, uh, I may in fact make my PC melt doing this, but uh, we'll give it a go. <laughs> Um, yeah, so the basic idea behind this is I've rolled the, um, I've rolled the, uh, German battle cruisers and the German pre-dreadnoughts just into their battleship fleet, um, just to make things a, a little bit more, um, balanced and to kind of represent the fact that the German battle cruisers were much more heavily armoured than the British ones, and the and the game tends to uh, kind of favour um, the the idea that um, the battle cruisers are lightly armoured um, and fast and, and heavily armed. That, that that's the British way of building them, or at least it was in 1916. And I've gone with 1916 tech. I know a lot of the ships were built before the actual year the battle took place. But anyway, let's get to building. Uh, I can choose. I can either design the Dreadnought battleships or I can design the battle cruisers. Um, I will leave it to chat to have a look to uh, tell me which one they want me to try and build. So this is, I get 28 of these um, if I build these ones. I get nine of the battle cruisers if I build the battle cruiser. So I'll leave it over to chat which one, which one I'm going to go for. Um, if you are watching and you want to post in the chat, um, but you like oh it doesn't look like it can you just need to follow the channel um, and then you can post in the chat just fine. Mm -hmm. I might go with a battle cruiser actually. This. Uh, means that I'm affecting the battle the least. 
Um, and it was the battle cruisers that the Royal Navy really had trouble with because it just exploded everywhere. Um, so let's see if we can't we can't do better. Right, let's go for maximum bulkheads. Let's go for really big ships as well. This is back when uh, you know the the Royal Navy could afford to just throw money at these things. Right, let's go for a double funnel setup. Uh, now let's see, barbettes. Uh, can we fit them? Yeah, front and back. Interesting. If I go for a very tall, can I get a... Oh, I can't use mediums. Alright. So let's go for a standard on the front. And... Hmm... kind of want most of her guns up front think. Can I get a secondary barbet in? Mm. Kinda. Because uh, it is, I think... Mind you, there aren't... Um, there, there aren't going... There, I, I got rid of all the lighter ships as well. Uh, just, just, just for performance reasons. So all the destroyers and all the light cruisers and all this stuff, I've, I've just just left those out because I, I I don't think they're they're completely necessary. Um, all right, let's have a look. What what's the biggest baddest gun we can get? A fourteen inch Mark II, or if we go down, we can get Mark Threes. Hmm. Never been a huge fan of fourteen inch guns in general. Might go for the twelves actually. Yeah, let's go for twelve inch. Looks quite nice on that uh, barbet as well. And we're going to go for a slightly uncharacteristic design for the time. Most of them went for a you know four double turret setup. But I kind of want to have quite a lot of firepower on board, so. Uh, secondary guns. Hmm. Purely for aesthetics, I like the seven inch actually. It's got a nice looking turret on it. Uh, now I think I'm gonna have to stick a barbet on the back actually, which means I might actually go with the doubles. Yeah, let's let let's go go with the doubles and see see how we're looking. Hmm. I mean, it's nice. Like, I do quite like it. It's just... You know, there's going to be a lot going on. And I think we just need to get... Enormous numbers of shells downrange. And we might be kiting away from enemies. Um just as much as we're going towards them. Right, still need to figure out this offset somehow. Um, but let's fiddle around with the, this stuff first. So let's go for geared turbine engines, oil, force boilers, uh, turbo electric drive, and shaft two. Um, let's go with the best armor we can get, best barbettes we can get. Uh, anti torp we don't need to worry about. I don't think. But we'll go for a triple bottom with reinforced bulkheads. And he's got three. And oh my god, you can get the turtle back. Yikes. Um, might go with tube powder. Yeah, let's go with the tube powder. Let's go with uh, stereoscopic three. Don't need that stuff. Uh, heavy shells. And I know I am overweight. I'm going to have to come... Oh, I can only get enhanced reload. Let's just go with the hydraulic turrets then. Um, not the best turrets in the world. Uh, right, one thing I do need is... Nope. This. 
Um, so the weights and costs. No, oh, stats. Stats. Energy deficiency, 100%. Okay. Uh, she's quite fast. How fast can we make her with this setup? Ooh, 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 ooh. Fast. 40 knots. Uh, we are massively overweight, is the problem. Um, which means something has to go. Let's go with uh, standard barbette thickness rather than the heavies. Actually, that makes almost no difference. Hmm. 32484. Uh, a couple hundred tons. It's not worth it, though. Anti -fire. Blood one. Reinforced bulk heads one. Double. Um bulk heads to many. Maybe even standard. Alright. Maybe just go with an Orcs diesel. Hmm. Because I wish I could get the double gear turbines. Maybe just a one. Oh, still need to shave some. Still need to lose some weight. Hello there, Onion. I'm so sorry. I didn't. Uh, sorry, I haven't been looking at the chat. It's my intention to blast everybody into space. Yes, it exactly is. Twin guns look good. Um, and would save weight. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Uh, Telemonian and Dan, I think that is a really good idea because we I, I don't think I can make the triple gun setup work just because they're so heavy. Um, plus the two guns um, set up kind of makes um, the ship more of a more, it, well, well it does make them more accurate. 73% base versus fit, wow, okay, 58. Yeah, there's, there's a huge difference especially at close range okay so yeah we'll go with the jewels um ship is still overweight i'm gonna lose that secondary bar bit just because uh that should help with the weight offset a little bit as well because uh, you don't want basically you want the offset uh, offset less than one percent i have in fact found uh where it tells you what what that actually does to you or already did at what some point um yeah here so it tells you here what what your weight offset is doing um and you can see that it causes your base accuracy to go down accuracy penalty um it's all over the place affects your acceleration your turning rate all sorts of things so it's generally not something you want okay we just need to shave off 132 tons can we do that with heavy barbettes no but we might be able to with standards yes yeah, standards there we go right uh, can we go for a full eight inches on there? Seven on the belt. Why not? No, can't increase that. Tower. Just a little bit. Okay. That's not too bad. Uh, name. Uh, it's currently the Hercules class. Um, uh, which I kind of like, actually. Hercules class. Uh, battle cruiser, very very fast, <laughs> very fast, um, just spewing out um, quite small shells. They're not going to do a lot of damage, but they should hopefully be able to punch through the German armor. All right, um, well, let's give it a go. And this is probably where my computer goes uh, and melts, <laughs> but we will try. I'll also disable the music once I'm in game. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> 28 battleships and 9 of the Hercules class battlecruisers against 27 German battleships. Oh, I'll pause. Okay. Let's. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. Right, I'm just going to um, turn the music off. There we go. Even though that is quite cool music, um, it's just so that YouTube doesn't scream at me when I when I do get around to uploading it. Um, oh, and it's unpaused. Pause. 
Okay, so fortunately we're not in range. Jesus Christ. Okay, much though I hate uh, using the formations, I'm going to have to this time. So those you three, um, are these all the same class? Bellerophon, yeah they are. So you guys, I want you to join the Division 1. Join uh, you, I want you to join Division 1. And you, I want you to join Division 1 as well. Um, and then we'll take these three battleships as well. The Repulse, the Canada and the Jupiter. And we'll put them into Division 1. Just because otherwise I'm going to have so much micro, I'm going to get overwhelmed. Okay, and then let's have Division 2 here. Uh, so we'll merge these ones. So just join up with Division 2. It's going to take the AI like hours to sort this out. Uh, how many is that in Division 2? Eight. So if we've got another, like... Yeah, and then we'll merge all of these guys together as well. Um, you know, I want to reduce the graphics. Yeah, uh, I I will uh, have a look, and um, if we do need to reduce the graphics, I'll I'll do that. But um, hopefully, once we start sinking ships, it won't be quite as bad. <laughs> okay, lovely. So there's I now have three battleship divisions: eleven, eight, and eight. Oh no! And there's this chap out on his own, the bulwark. You can join number two. So eleven, nine, and eight. And then we have the battle cruisers, and I would like you to join battle cruiser squadron uh, number one. Okay, so we have a, mu a more reasonable <laughs> fleet. So division one, uh, yeah, stay at full speed, and I just want you to go like this. Division two, uh, I want you to no, oh, there's the where's the lead ship? Go like that, and three, I want you to go like that. Battle cruisers, I want you out front. If we can get you out front, and Hercules will just do that. And then we'll watch the game just absolutely throw a hissy fit. Actually, it's running okay, which is nice. I'm not, I'm not too uh, too sad about that. Actually, that's that's running pretty well. Um, of course, they are going to take a million years to sort themselves out, and they're probably going to ram into each other. Fortunately, ramming is not a thing. Okay, it doesn't like it if I do that, but uh, screw it. I'm not waiting around. That's almost like the real Battle of Jutland. <laughs> Enemy spoke spotted to the north. Okay, we're actually heading in the right direction. I have no idea what they're doing. You know, they might sort themselves out eventually. You know, we can only hope. <laughs> Just wait until they fire, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, the battle cruisers are going out in front, which is kind of what I um, hope would happen. Uh, oh, enemy in sight. Okay. See what the uh, Germans have brought. Shall we? Triple gun turrets. Four of them. My goodness. And a load of casemates as well. And secondaries. Ooh. Compared to our battleships, which are really weird. <laughs> and our battle cruisers. Okay. Right. Battle cruisers. Uh, yeah. Keep going at just the ludicrous speeds. Um, because chances of anyone getting any hits is like zero. <laughs> um, what is the accuracy actually? Three and a half percent. That's uh, not bad. What about on one of the battleships? Okay, less. And the Hercules has got an even better uh, chance to hit, so. And we are actually firing quite a lot of stuff. Um, battleships, I'm just going to get to slow down to get their accuracy up, so we're just going to slow them down to 20 knots. All ships, make your speed 20. 
Battle Cruiser going to continue at full speed. Yeah, we've only found one enemy ship so far. And we fired a lot of shells at them, and none of them have hit. <laughs> Again, just like the real Battle of Jutland. Hey! <laughs> Well, that was a ricochet, I think. Yep. It's disappointing. Uh, both cruisers are uh, getting their accuracy up 7%. It's pretty decent, actually. Oh, my God. Yes, a hit! Well done. <laughs> Even caused some flooding. And we found the rest of the German ships. And they're using a bunch of different classes, which is interesting. So we have another one the same as the one we're firing on at the moment. And another one like that. And another one like that. Yeah. But it looks like this is something else. Maybe? No, oh, looks pretty similar to me. If it has gone for the same class for everything, that's a little bit easier. Wait a minute, why is there a... Why do I have a notification there? You haven't been uh, cowardly and put torpedoes on the ship, have you? The German. Here he is. Oh, this one. This one. Yeah, he's, uh, he's like... Um, <laughs> I think the British have found us. <laughs> we are receiving lots of fire. Oh man. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> oh, I think he's falling back. Um, he must have taken a hit. Yeah, he has. Um, he's taken a hit and he's moving to the back of the line. Okay, the battle cruisers are uh, sailing up. They're starting to draw quite a lot of fire. Uh, so I'm just going to get them to just keep their distance just a little bit. Uh, we'll let the battleships. Uh, is this. Yeah, so this is Division 1. Um, we're going to let them do the brawling. No, oh, yeah, we could. We, the, so the battleships are going to go in close, and the battle cruisers are going to keep their distance. <laughs> the amount of shells just flying through the air and hitting nothing. Look at that. <laughs> The sea's basically boiling around him. Is the accuracy on the battleships now? 2.4%. Pathetic. Oh yeah, terrible accuracy. Oh! Uh, there we go, a little bit of a hit. Better hit. There's so many shells in the air. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> so, part of my justification for using the battle cruisers, or at least historically, um, what the the British were trying to do was to uh, to cut off the Germans so there was a lot of maneuvering going on obviously the AI is not that complicated um, it doesn't know that it's uh, outgunned and it's just gonna fight us to the death um, but that's what I'm trying would would be using the battle cruisers for is to circle around the German fleet uh, and to prevent their escape Jesus Oh, actually, our battleships have torps. I've just seen that. Where? Oh, they have a single... <laughs> I love that design feature. Well, we need... Well, what happens if we have to retreat? Well, then we'll fire a torpedo out of the rear launcher. <laughs> nice. Have we identified any of the German ships yet? Doesn't look like it. Oh, no, we have. The Kronprinz. No torps. So, yeah. Good. Uh, 
14 inch guns so they've got m larger caliber guns than we do and 18 secondaries and a whole bunch of secondaries actually um, so they've gone for a kind of like a power build whereas I've gone for kind of a, a lighter nimbler uh, build at least on my battle cruisers what's the top speed actually curious 26 and a half compared to our battleships 26 so similar speeds uh, similar armor um, but they've gone for way more guns or at least they've gone for heavier guns okay the battle crew I don't want the battle cruisers like bumping into each other so and uh, the Germans are wasting a lot of shells firing at us oh that was a big hit what caused that a 12 inch okay nice that was a battle cruiser that that did a lot of damage Oof. yeah some pretty heavy hits there uh, no one's been sunk yet uh, so if I th if I remember right, I think the British lost nine ships and the Germans lost three, something like that. Uh, I mean, the, of the big ships. Um, so you know, both sides claimed victory. It was all very inconclusive. We were very upset in the UK because they're expecting it to be a Trafalgar esque victory, which is what we're aiming for. Um, but uh, it it actually kind of meant that the Germans lost the war. <laughs> um, because they weren't able to break the blockade of uh, Germany and they ran out of resources so you could argue that this is it was a success uh, you know strategically um, oof. Oh, that's the Tirpitz nice uh, the Admiral Tirpitz was actually uh, uh, World War One um, German Admiral I think he was actually at Jutland as well um, but it's his ship here instead today. Uh, yeah, what? What? It was a 12 inch that hit him. Yeah, the 12 inch are going through his belt armor. Nice. Okay. All right, the battle cruisers are getting a little bit uh, far away. So I'm just going to bring them, bring them round. circle around the back uh, and the battleships are finally starting oh, that, the hood is trailing way behind battleships are finally starting to get their act together at least division one is uh, this is division two uh, division two is oh is in position but a little bit far away uh, let's bring them in a bit closer and division three the ones right in the back, yeah. Oh no, actually, coming up. So let's bring them forwards a bit. Oh, just so many shells, <laughs> and I am keeping it zoomed out a little bit because there's a lot going on. Um, I will try and zoom in when I can to show off cool things. But looks like the Oldenburg here took a couple of big hits. Yeah. Mostly from the battleships, but the battle cruisers are doing damage. I'm really pleased to see that. I wasn't a hundred percent sure that the uh, the battleships were going to be the battle cruisers were going to be able to do very much, but do seem to be doing okay. What kind of propellant are they using actually? Our oh, battleships, Cordite two. Okay, that's not brilliant. Um, probably historically accurate, but. Hello there, stream special guest. Sorry about that. Okay. What's going on? This, what's this, what's the old bird doing? Oh, she's probably turning to, oh crap. How come? How did we lose the Valiant? Flooding? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> ah! 
minimum bulkheads. Minimum bulkheads. For pity's sake. Why? Why AI? <laughs> I wish there was a setting for the AI ship. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. What have they got? Oh, well, they got few. Okay, I don't feel so bad. Yeah, there we go. So it's one all. <laughs> okay. I'm really glad they don't have torps because if they did, we'd be screwed beyond belief. Right. The battle cruisers are kind of ready to circle around now. Kind of just. Yeah, they are still firing. Just peppering away. And now we're really starting to get into brawl range. No, forty. No, they're not a joke. Um, I think the Valiant just got, yeah, just got multiple flooding hits um, across the length of her, and that, that's what did her in. The Hindu, see, the Hindu stand here has only taken flooding hits on the on the front, um, so she's okay. Oh, it's getting hard to tell what is even going on. And then you zoom out, and it's just like. It just keeps going. <laughs> it's like two galaxies smashing into each other. Well, it was always going to be more challenging if I designed a battle cruiser because um, it means that we we have fewer of the the player design ships. Uh, good hit on the Kaiser Friedrich the third there. Uh, main gun destroyed. That is very nice. There goes the Hindu stand. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, I think the AI did a better job on the German ships than it did on mine. <laughs> Because these guys are taking big hits. Big hits. And they're staying afloat. Um, whereas mine, you know, take a few flooding hits and that's them done. Or an ammo destination there. On the Thuringen. Thuringen? Thuringen. Something like that. Okay, what's the accuracy like on the Metal Cruise? Oh, it's terrible. Okay, we need to get you guys closer. Okay. Good lord. Like, yeah, the throwing in here is taking a massive amount of punishment. Looks like the uh, El Elsas. Elsas. Why, why are you doing that? Some battleships absolutely just going in really weird random places at the moment. Yeah, I have no idea what the Dominion thinks she's doing. Um, but heading in... Yeah. Hopefully now, our battle cruisers will be able to get a little bit more damage in. Start hitting the ships further back in the formation. This is kind of the epicenter of the battle here at the moment. Yeah, I, I don't go up to uh, any higher speeds because I think the game will crash. <laughs> uh, this, the Kaiser Friedrich, might find to their displeasure that sailing, uh, sailing behind. One of these. Oh, there goes the Commonwealth. See? Just really easy to sink these guys with... Uh, um, yeah, flooding hits. That's really disappointing. Like Bellerophon. Taking a whole bunch of damage. Or 
as I say, the Kaiser Friedrich has taken you know, more hits and bigger hits, and it's fine. Um, destroyed a casemate. And again, I could be doing way more micro, but I'll, I'll just get drowned in doing micro if I do that. And I really do need to just keep an eye. Oh, it looks like here the elf. Oh, crud. What happened to you? 13 inch. <laughs> it's blown up by one of our own goddamn ships. <laughs> Because the, both, of, both of those BVs are in green. And it went through the belt extended and exploded the entire ship. Great job, guys. Well, at least we killed the LS. Jesus. What's the Nassau here? Yeah. Right, yeah, it's just getting to be complete chaos uh, now, which is always fun. Right, let's have a look. Check up on the battle cruisers. Because they have actually been doing pretty decent work. Um, I want all battle cruisers to fire on the swash in there. There goes another one of the lead battleships. Yeah, we are losing them at an alarm ships at an alarming rate. But we do have more of them, so kind of hoping. Kind of hoping that we're able to actually get some damage here and on the Schwaben. Looks like we took out her conning tower. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Tell Dan. Down. It, it, it is kind of historically how um, the battle went, is that um, the British ships, uh, particularly the battle cruisers, were, you know, could, could, could hit the German ships, but they couldn't sink them. Whereas the German ships, if they hit on the British ships, that tended to be a fatal hit. Um, and some of that was due to mistakes by the crew. Uh, there goes the Goliath. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, uh, not following the ammo handling procedures correctly. See, just, 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 ugh. I do wonder about the AI sometimes. Right, Collingwood. I want you to come this way if you can, please. Just keep firing. Any damage to the Schwaben? Nah, not much. Right, let's switch fire to the Mark Graf at the back here. Just kind of want to pick off ships here at the rear uh, if we can, because if we can take them out before they're able to engage our own battleships, that would be really nice. But good lord, slugfest. There goes the war spike with a flash fire. Damn. <laughs> there is something wrong with our ships today, gentlemen. Something very wrong. Now I'm kind of regretting not designing the battleships. <laughs> oh well. It does make the battle a bit more fair, because um, we have numbers, but generally worse ships, I'd say. Um, certainly by how things have been going. Um, I'd just like to score some actual bloody good hits. There goes the Erin. That's another one of ours gone. Ugh. 
RNG. If I do fail miserably, I will, uh, and I have time, I will uh, come out and I will try again with uh, designing the battleships. But uh, it doesn't look like we're going to get a chance, but hopefully we'll win. Uh, I still have uh, high hopes. Is that a cheeky little torpedo going out? Oh, it is. <laughs> uh, sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. I have no idea why she's barking. Millie! Millie! Shush! Ah, of course the torpedo misses. <laughs> yeah, this is just disappointing. Just disappointing. Battlecruisers are actually performing okay. <laughs> They're um, they seem able to uh, avoid being hit, which is nice, and uh, they um they have been doing a reasonable amount of damage. But uh, yeah, our battleships have just been absolutely terrible, rubbish, 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 rubbish. In fact, so rubbish. I want to take another look at what they were equipped with. I think Cordite 2 is just a bad choice. Well, Anti-Flood 3, but it doesn't matter because the Flood, you never get a chance to activate the things. Um, increased ammo shells. Um, that doesn't help with the uh, ammo detonations at all. Um, I'm looking for reinforced bulkheads. One. Reinforced bulkhead. Yeah. That Genuinely, the main problem with these guys is that they have crap belt armor and minimum bulkheads. So they just sink. Like, immediately. Couple of flooding hits and they're gone, basically. And that's no good. However, that is the entire German fleet engaged now. Um, and hopefully, we'll be able to bring our numbers to bear now. Although, I think that's pretty even now. <laughs> I haven't seen a German ship go down for a while. Well, there, are, there are quite a few that are quite heavily damaged. Schliessen here, heavily damaged. The Koenig Albert. Oh, oh, there goes the Zealandia. What have we got here? We have the uh, Brundisvik. Yeah, see, I have the Jupiter all the way in the back here. Um, like my elite battleship now, the Renown over here, which has in fact got round to the back of the German fleet, so we're kind of um, smooshing into them, in technical uh, military term. <laughs> ah, there goes the Schliessen. Okay, good. That was a big hit. 600 damage or something on the, on the uh, Collingwood over there. Probably means she's uh, doomed. Yeah, flooding in every compartment. She's going down. Yep, there she goes. Again, just trying to pepper away on the mark graph here. But you can see she's ha she has nearly all of her compartments. Uh, with water in, but she's not sunk because just with a few bulkheads. Oh, sorry, stand. Um, yeah, oh, that's the battle cruiser. Just with a few bulkheads instead of minimum, she's able to keep keep that under control long enough for her anti-flood systems to kick in. Or actually, worse than the ones on the British battleships. 
Um, so if you are playing this game, do not <laughs> put minimum bulkheads on your ship. Uh, unless it's already going to die in one hit. You know, might be a torpedo boat or something like that. But do not do it. Um, unless you have no other choice. Like, I would always go for the, you know, bulkheads are, are important. Like, I've gone for standard on these battle cruisers, which is way less than what I would normally do. I'd normally always go for maximum bulkheads if I could. Just the, the difference it makes um, in terms of um, the just the survivability of the ship is crazy. See, yeah, it pumped out this one. Now these are under control, and they can start pumping out the water. Uh, we might get get another flooding hit, but probably not. There goes another one of our ships. It's looking uh, slightly worrying here. Looks like a colossal failure. Um, aside from the battle cruiser fleet, which is still going away, but we're probably going to run out of ammunition before we're able to um, make a significant impact on the battle. There goes another one of our ships. Um, as well, I'm not a big fan of this. You know, this this turret isn't doing anything. Most of the time. Why are you firing at something way in the back? Shoot at that. Ugh. What kind of reloaders have they got? 44 seconds. Really? Uh, enhanced. That's the best you could get. In this time period for the British, anyway. Now, the battle cruisers have succeeded in their mission of getting behind the German fleet. Um, it's just that the, uh, <laughs> the battleships aren't doing their job of... Um, actually being able to kill the Germans. Right, there goes um, the brown streak due to structural damage, which means we just smashed it to pieces rather than flooding out. Um, which is interesting. Right, battle cruisers. Um, are you helping to take down the Mark Graf? Hopefully you are. Yeah, you are. Continuing to fire on the Mark Graf, sorry. Oh my word. Oh dear me. Actually, that's another thing to check. Quality of our armor is 100%. What is theirs? Also 100%. Okay. The battle cruisers, 100%. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, minimum bulkheads is, is the big difference. Minimum bulkheads, and our ships have more shells on board, I think. I don't think the Germans went with the... Oh, well, there's another one. Um, in fact, they got... Re wait a minute, reduced ammo shells? Really? Interesting. You wouldn't know. <laughs> So, I mean, I think it was, where's one of the ships that's further forward? Yeah, there's still got loads of them left. Oh, Montague, yeah, ram him! <laughs> nice! Except you have minimum bulk kids, so you're probably going to sink, but still nice! <laughs> hey. You lot, why are you not firing on the Hagen? Just shoot the ship that's closest to you, there's plenty of them. Right. <sighs> really, the Mark Graf. See what I mean? It's just so hard to get these ships um, down for good. There goes another one of our ships. Fire and flooding, but it's already a compartment that was flooding. Oh. 
Oh. Yeah, th this is less a Trafalgar and more a, <laughs> a meat grinder. <laughs> What's this? 42% to hit. 42. You have eight guns, or eight barrels firing, and you hit, well, four in that case, and you don't hit anything. How... Hmm. Sometimes, when you're playing this game, you're just like... It's like playing Warhammer. <laughs> you roll dice, and it doesn't matter how well you've... Uh, <laughs> how well you've prepared, how well you've done. If you just roll ones all the time, it doesn't matter. You're going to lose. Yeah, I, I think the Germans have, have, have won this. Um, bearing in mind the time, what I'm very quickly going to do is I'm going to declare victory but I, I'm gonna go and build it build the dreadnought because like that was just ridiculous dreadnought 2 I think we we're even using the dreadnought ones but I'm not 100% right dreadnought 2 uh, the best tower they've broken the blockade yeah they, they did really well this is why you don't let the AI design the more important ship class um, oh I kind of like the look of the tall funnel 3 yeah, look at all those searchlights. Nice. Um, okay, puppets. Go with a standard on the front. Standard on the back. Main guns. Uh, hmm. Interesting choices. Uh, let's go for tri just as much firepower as we can get. Crumbs. Uh, right on the back. Okay. Uh, secondary guns, eight inches. Can we get those in? Yes. Yes, we can. One there. And one there. Because uh, eight inch guns firing HE can actually do a little bit of damage. Um, five inch. Fit that anywhere. Oh, I can actually, but I don't like them there. Um, fours. You, no, sometimes there's a slot up on the tower. Oh, <laughs> okay. I like those. Look at that. Hello, stream special guest. Oh, really? Do you? Right. Hold on, guys. I'll be back in a sec. Hello there. Sorry about that. Uh, I just had to uh, very quickly deal with the stream special guest. Um, uh, th th those, yeah, I'm I'm putting two inch guns up there because that's just funny. <laughs> Casemates. Oh, we do have casemate options. Oh, okay. Again, you know these probably aren't going to do anything, but they might set some fires. 
Um, top launchers? No, we're not going to bother with those. Um, maximum bulkheads, please. Range, we'll leave it medium. Geared, oil. Forced boilers? What's our engine capacity? 100%. Uh, how fast can we make these things go? Pretty fast, actually. Damn. Can make them go very fast indeed. Say 32 knots. Uh, it's big in the ship. Um. Hmm. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Massive four weight offset. Uh, at least we have quite a lot of uh, deck space in the middle here, which makes me wonder. Let's get rid of these uh, pointless extra guns. I'm just curious. I don't think I can fit a barbette in there of any type. No. All... Ooh, hello. You don't normally get to fit those. That's quite interesting. Um, but what I'm thinking is we can fit another 14-inch gun in the middle there. We can... Lovely. How about that? That's more like it. Yeah, Q turret. <laughs> A, B, Q, X, Y. Uh, right. We're quite near our weight limit, so I might end up slowing the ship down a bit. But let's go with Crypt 3. Maximum barbette thickness. Shouldn't need the anti torp Triple bottom hull. Turtle back armor. Reinforced bulkheads and anti flood 3. We'll figure the rest out later. Heavy of those. Leave that. Enhanced reload. Um, yeah, tube powder. I'm quite a big fan of the tube powder. Now, I'm going to be a bit odd. I think I might go for the coincidence ones, actually. For the base accuracy and the gun aiming speed. And they take less weight. Because... We're not going to try and do long range. We're just going to close in and we're going to smash them. Now, I think 26 knots is probably absolutely fine. And that probably lets us drop our boiler tech down to... Well, induced is fine. Um, and we're still overweight. Okay. Uh, can we go as low as 20 knots? Like 23 knots or something? 22? Yeah, 22 works. Right. Can we go to natural boilers for that? Yes, we can. Um, 378, 39, yeah, it saves a little tiny, tiny bit of weight. Uh, I'm going to, no, I'll leave it at medium. Okay, we have almost everything we would want. Um, apart from the armor, which I just, I, mainly I want a 12 inch belt. If I can get away with it. It's quite a lot of deck armor, actually. Um... Other than that, I don't think there's too much we can do. Uh, can we maybe increase the conning tower armor? Yeah, not much. That's a good looking ship. Thank you very much. I do quite. It is quite a good looking ship. It's quite, quite nice. Look at that. Yeah. All right. She needs a name. This uh, class. At the moment, it's the Colossus, which is uh, actually pretty appropriate. Um. So uh, let's 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 try that again. <laughs> let's see what the AI, I'm mostly curious to see what the AI did with the uh, the uh, what do you call it battle cruiser design. I'm also not going to bother like fiddling around with the divisions. I'm just going to stick with whatever the hell I've got. Right, let's go. Enemy smoke spotted to the north, which is behind us. Oh, good. Just wonderful. Just wonderful. Oh, 
Jesus. Why did they have to be behind us? In fact, that's so annoying. I'm just going <laughs> to re respawn the battle so that I don't have to deal with that nonsense. <laughs> please just either be in front of me or a beam. Please, 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 please. And we smoke spotted to the north. They're a beam. Okay, there I can work with. Right. Spread out all over the place. Uh, basically, what I want to do... Right, Queen Elizabeth, your group is to turn to the north. And Glory, I want your group to turn north. Um, Canada, your group to turn north. I think you're the lead ship. Yes, you are. Although they're gonna find that difficult. Um, battle cruisers. What did they give them? Few bulkheads. Twenty-three knots. <laughs> A seven-inch belt. Fourteen-inch guns. Triples, though. Uh, three of them. Okay, so they've gone for whoa. That's a, I'm glad you like the look of my ship because that one is flipping ugly. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, battle cruisers. Yeah, on you go. Just do your thing. Everybody go this way. And then we'll find those Germans somewhere over there, probably. Uh, where's the other battle cruiser groups? Yeah, you lot that way. That should be everyone kind of trying to go in the right direction. Maybe, possibly. Yep. Yeah, I think they are all going in the right direction. Salt. I mean, for a given value of going in the right direction. I mean, they're basically sailing into each other, but... Um, You know, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> um, right. Okay. Yeah, apart from this lot. Oh no, that's the Thunderous group. Enemy in sight. Okay, let's see what they rolled up. With dual turrets. Three of them. And quite a lot of secondaries. Weirdly a missing casemate gun there. Interesting. Right, lead ships are probably the battleships because they are actually faster than the battle cruisers for some reason. Oh no, they're not. It's very, they are slower, but not by much. Right, Queen Elizabeth, I just want you to head in. Canada, I want you to head in as well. Um, are there any other groups? Yeah, Glory, your group, head in. Um, everyone else can kind of stay the course. That'll work. Increase speed again. Just until we get closer and stuff actually starts happening. Oh, that was a lucky hit. turning broadside. Oh, a flash fire! Oh, oh hello! One of the secondary turrets exploding there. Now those things can, yep, can spread. more. 
Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. But uh, that that is heavy damage to that ship. She's definitely going to fall back. Uh, try and disengage. Okay, Thunderer, come up this way. Right. Hood, your group. I want you to come north. Uh, revenge, your group. Turn to the north, please. Uh, who else we got here? Goliath, you're part of that group. Otherwise, it's a little bit hard to tell. We seem to be splitting off into two columns, which is not quite what I meant to do, but you know, needs must, I suppose. Yeah, Glory, you can uh, come this way. Wood. Yeah, I want you heading in. Uh, same for you, Revenge. Okay, that should be most of the ships kind of headed towards the enemy instead of kind of by the side of them. All right, let's speed up time again. I was I was quite kind of surprised that we, we got all that damage in to start with. Oh my god, how many shells have been fired at Queen Elizabeth already? Over a thousand. <laughs> oh, there goes the Wittenberg. Oh my god. Flash fire for hold on. So I'm not sure, but I think it was this hit. 14 inch mid belt penetration, 140 damage. Uh, massive explosion in one of the in one of his turrets. This one, I think, is B turret. Flash fire, and that just completely destroyed the ship. Damn. Oh, actually, out of interest, can we uh, see what? No, because uh, I've lost the identification. You can see here on the Kydra Fidus the third thing that they have. Yeah, a few bulkheads. Hmm, no torps. Good stuff. They must. What explosive they're using? More interestingly, Cordite One. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, sucks to be you. Right. Speed up time again. As we very slowly inch our way forwards. That's a good hit. I, mean, I must say the game's actually holding up pretty well. Um, running at times five speed, whilst with this many ships all firing at each other. I mean, I, I know my FPS sucks right now, but that's <laughs> what it's at, like 11 FPS. It's still playable. Ooh. Nice. My god. <laughs> okay, we're finally, finally getting in nice and close. Several hits on the Oldenburg there. Bye bye. Flash fire. <laughs> uh, sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, Queen Elizabeth here. You can see the difference. Like she has taken uh, n nearly five thousand shots at her, two hundred and fifty of which have actually hit her. Um, she's, you know, blocked a few, and but you know, fifteen penetrating hits um, against the ship, and she is fine. You know, a bit of fire. 
but otherwise she's absolutely fine and just firing away like nobody's business uh, I actually want you to target the Barden please look at that just like ha ah. Oh, those little two-inch guns getting involved. Oh, amazing. those guns. 77 seconds. That must feel like an eternity if you're on board that ship. did almost no damage but it still looked good and sounded good and that's the important thing. Canada up up front here is taken way less in terms of fire. Uh, how are my other ships doing? Thunderer move in. Glory move in. Uh, this is the Hoods group. Yeah up you come please. Any other groups going the wrong way? Yeah superb. Around you come. Uh, Venerable and uh, Colossus and that lot just seem to be in a... Yeah, they're the part of the Vengeance's group. They're just out of position. It's alright. And a lot of my ships further back aren't, like, going to be able to do much. Um, but yeah, getting getting close. Smack them. Get that accuracy up, get those hits, start fires, destroy main guns, and just wreck them. There goes the Barden, flash fire. You can see it just exploding over there. Another one. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the Barden's not having a good day. All of her main ammunition magazines gone up. Oh no! Oh no, that was my, that was the Kaiser fight freedom. I thought that was one of mine. Oh, you poor thing. Ammo detonation. Yep. Probably from the Canada, actually. Close range hit. Actually, that's not a secondary. That's a 10 inch. That uh, little uh, extra turret they have there on the back, I think. Oh no, it's the side guns. Okay, so that one's 8, and those are side 10 inch. Interesting. Not sure they're going to be overly effective, but uh, yeah, that looks like the Queen Elizabeth falling. I don't know what the Duncan's playing at. But the Queen Elizabeth is uh, taking her hits for the team and is uh, is retreating to the back of the line. 
Um, and meanwhile, the Canada has taken up position as um, <laughs> I'm going to take all the hits. Although she is taking more damage because she's just she's just closer, I think. Look at how close that that is uh, that is close range. <laughs> just the way I like it. Can you fire pistols yet? Yeah, two hundred meters. Get out the small arms, lads. <laughs> Look like we're going to get a salvo off of this range. And it looks like this turret, the white turret, is dead. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. This is more Trafalgar like. This is more like it. None of this namby pamby around with, oh, we'll stay at range and with accurate long range fire. But no. Sail next to the bastards and shoot them at point-blank range with as many guns as you can, as fast as you can. It works. <laughs> well, it, it works if you don't have minimum bulkheads. <laughs> and, you ha and you actually have a ship that can take a beating. Um, ooh, yes. Nice. Proper naval combat. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Telemonian Dan. Exactly. Proper combat. Proper naval combat where the captain can, you know, wave his sword and pistol around on the bridge and uh, actually shoot the <laughs> enemy ship. <laughs> I don't care if you're a cook or, um, like, a skivvy on board. I don't care. Grab one of the rifles, grab one of the Enfields from the weapons locker. Get out there and start shooting at something. <laughs> Looks like the Canada's had enough and he is falling back, making the Marlborough the leading lead ship. Uh, who are you currently trying to hit? The Weisselback. Why? Try and hit the Scharnhorst. Shano's took a couple of, a couple of hits there. Fire and flooding. Oh, looks like we're going to get some contact. Although the Shan horse is taking heavy damage now. Looks like she's going to give us a bit of a tap. Oof. Which sinks her? Ha! Ah, yeah, that's right. That's what you get. That's what you get. Okay, to be fair, the wreck has done a reasonable amount of damage, but. You no, know, Marlborough's fine. And he's probably now falling back from that damage. Meaning that all of our advanced ships are falling back. So that, that's all of our super close range ships have. Uh, we only managed to get three in. Um, so far, to like knife fighting range. Uh, all the rest of the ships are still moving up. At least I hope they are. Right, revenge, come in. Don't think there's anyone else sailing in a funny direction. Apart from possibly the Enterprise over here, who is part of the Superb's group. Uh, and the Superb is supposed, supposedly going the right way, so. Gonna have to wait for a healthier ship to uh, to come in because um, the Can both the Canada and the Marlborough are retreating. The Hannibal and the Royal Oak, however, are on course, uh, with the Commonwealth not far behind actually. And the Glory is a little bit further away, but uh, might be able to do something. Meanwhile, the Germans are taking an absolute hammering. Oh, ho, 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 ho. There goes the Wittelsbach. 
as she's being rammed by one of her own ships. Not that that does any damage at present. Um, but that just looks uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, clipping right through it. <laughs> uh, developers, if you're watching, that might be a slight bug. <laughs> in that you can clip through one of your own sinking ships um, or it might be a, an anti-frustration feature um, but uh, just if you are seeing this then yeah, just so you're aware of that I will try and submit a bug report um, after the end of the video right the mark grab who's Canada firing at? no 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 fire at them Fire at them, Canada. I know you're a uh, technically retreat. Oh no, no, there goes the mark. Right. Okay, never mind. Shoot at whoever you want. <laughs> Although you're probably best off shooting at uh, this thing, Igia. Oh, that's funny. It's uh, the name of one of my rockets in the Kerbal series. Although I spelt it differently. I spelt it A E rather than A with an umlaut. But only because. Uh, Normally when you name stuff in games, it doesn't like using accents and umlauts and things. Oh man. Oh, oh my god. Imagine being on the bridge and you just see that coming at you. Oh my goodness. And you know not much of it's going to hit, but man oh man. When you've seen uh, like a whole bunch of your... Uh, fellow ships sink because uh, they took one hit onto a magazine or a turret and then they exploded. You would not be feeling confident. Right, Hannibal's moving on up. Um, Arbor's taken a lot of damage uh, but she is still fighting. Um, she's lost one of her turrets by the looks of it. Lost a B turret. Too bit unfortunate. Royal Oak. Um, I want you to go there. Thunderer. You're fine. Glory. Yeah, you can head for that group. Uh, Commonwealth, you're following on. Hannibal, hopefully, will start taking some of the fire for the retreating Mulgra and Canada. Mm. Nope, missed. Oh, there goes another... Two, two of them, both two flash fires at the same time. You can see in the in the back there. That's the poison just exploding all over the place, and the egg is gone as well. Look at that. There goes the turret. Splash. <laughs> okay. It's more like it. Marlborough is probably going to go down at this stage. I'm amazed she's still afloat. 1% floatability currently, and only 8% structure. Just taking an absolute beating. Uh, 3,000 hits, but 580. Yeah, there she goes. Finally, from uh, probably a 10 inch actually, but it was enough. Um, well fought, Brave Marlborough. You, you've served well. Uh, is the Hannibal falling back? Yeah, it looks like it is, actually. Uh, which means the Goliath is now the lead ship. Now, Hood is... And her group is almost in the right area. And Vengeance and Ocean are coming up. Oh, heavy flooding. Interesting. Um, haven't seen one go down to flooding yet. I don't think. They've all just kind of exploded. And it uh, looks like the battle is also now taking place over here, on this flank. Nice. As we have the Royal Oak, the Thunderer, who really can't take hits like the battleships, but is trying, and the glory here. Oof. The, uh... Veta, Vetin, taking um, Vetin, taking some pretty nasty hits there. 
and sinking very quickly. Oh, there goes our own ship. There goes the Thunderer. That's what I was worried about with the battle cruisers when the AI designs the things. They can't take it. Um, yeah, took it on the main gun. From an 8 inch shell, by the way. And just exploded. Which is why I am not really a fan of the kind of uh, glass cannon type ship. There goes the Vettel. Meanwhile, we'll continue to absolutely pound those ships to dust. Uh, over here, looks like the Goliath had a flash fire. Yeah, she did. On a rear turret. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, on a main gun. Ouch. I was kind of expecting her to retreat by herself, but if she's not going to do that, then uh, I will order her to do so. Because Cam might be able to save the ship still. That was unlucky. Um, Deutschland here. It's like the Canada and the Hannibal have been uh, at her. This whole division is very, very badly damaged, which is why I would just, I've just ordered them to retreat. There goes the Nassau. That's one of the ones over there. Another flash fire. Oh, another flash fire? Oh my god. Heimdall. Oh boy. Man. Man, oh man. Right. Okay, so that north that group is uh, the northern group is being engaged quite successfully. Um, this southern group is still being uh, fairly stubborn, actually. Um, the Deutschland is almost right next to the hood. Um, but I don't think the hood is actually firing on that ship. No, they're all firing on the Brandschlevig. Which is fine. I mean, she's taking a load of damage. Plus, actually, at this angle, you get a lot of... Uh, there goes a, the Wilhelm II. It's one of the northern ships. Uh, excuse me for a moment. Uh, sorry, I'm going to have to pause just for a moment uh, to go and deal with something. I will be back in a moment.
Hello there. Sorry about that. Uh, the stream special guest uh, needed uh, something quite urgent. Uh, it's all sorted out now. Right, back to the action. Um, I don't think there's too much left, to be honest. Oh, yes. No, the end, the end is nigh, I think. Royal Oak's broken through to the other side of the enemy fleet. There goes the Hanover. Another... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> ah. Oh, it never gets old. I love that they added this. Um... Oh, there goes the Friedrich de Grossa and the Pommern. Oh, it's all gone a bit wrong, hasn't it? Just the Tirpitz here. Bravely trying to escape. I used to think she's trying to escape. Let's redirect all fire onto her. That will finish off the northern group. And then we can get these ships to swing down. And uh, finish off the southern group here, hopefully. Uh, still only about 10 FPS at the moment, but it is playable. Oh no, the glory! No, what happened? Did you accidentally ram into a sinking ship? You did. You muppet. Well, your court martial is going to be interesting. There's the Rhineland. On fire again. There goes the Tirpitz. Okay, Royal Oak, come to south. Zealandia, you can come to the south as well. Uh, or your group can. Uh, looks like you also have the battle cruisers here. Or some of them. Move in. We've got the Bayern here. Um. But uh, she's pretty much been cut off from the rest of the fleet because we have the Vengeance and the Ocean here kind of going in between. The uh, Deutschland here at least is uh, almost completely surrounded. So I'm not entirely sure why we aren't blowing her to absolute shreds. Uh, I think we're in the wrong fleet. <laughs> Flash fire. That's that's the end of her. Not going to survive that. Oh, the Bayon goes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gonna have a look at that in a sec. Trying to go for a ram on the Exmouth here, I think, but uh, has now sunk. Right, the Bayon was the ship over here. Yeah, what happened to you? Uh, I think just just smashed to bits with 14-inch guns. Very good. Right, Vengeance, you can come this way. Ocean, you can come this way as well. Because this southern group, uh, interestingly, we have the How, which is part of the Resolution, which is part of goodness knows which group, but we do have ships over on this side. We've got the How, the Victorious, Colossus, um, and we've got a whole bunch of ships over here. So I don't think the West Farland is going to have much luck. Yeah, we'll definitely try and uh, encircle them. We can. Northern battle groups are now starting to head uh, back the way. Again, moving to cut them off from any potential escape back to Germany. Conquer them. Oh, there goes the Crown Prince. To what? 
Um, I think it's just a bunch of belt pens. Oh! Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Thank you, Telemonian Dan. Yes, I forgot to press the thing. <laughs> Professional stream here, I'll have you know. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, thanks for pointing that out. I don't think you missed too much. Um, I was describing it. Uh, I am sorry about that. Um, yeah, that, that's a boo boo. Apologies. Ah, okay. No, no, it wasn't your connection. I'd, uh, I'd switched the microphone back on. I'd alt tab back into Ultimate Admiral, and I'd forgotten that I have to man. I have to tell um, the streaming software to change back to the the main the main screen, basically. Oh my god, Koenig Albert. Oh my god. Oh no. 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 Yeah, this is uh, basically mopping up at this stage, I think. Oh my goodness. But this is definitely more of a Trafalgar-esque victory, because I think we've lost maybe two, three uh, ships. Um, and the Germans have basically had their entire high seas fleet absolutely, like, beaten into a pulp. Um just masses of damage and uh, would it, this have changed much about the end of the First World War I mean if if the British had been able to get this <laughs> bye bye a massive victory like this um, I mean it would have done a lot for uh, morale I suppose uh, on the home front you know, Brit Britannia rules the waves kind of stuff, but um, strategically, I don't think it would have made much of a difference because the, you know, the fake possibility the Germans might have considered surrendering. Um, I mean, this was 1916. I don't think it was. Um, oh, and, and, yeah, kind of around then. You know, 1916, 1917. It it wasn't the end of the war by any chance. Bye bye, Odin. He sacrificed himself unto himself. Uh, Westfalen bravely is going to try and ram the how. I think. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Almost walk <laughs> between the ships there. Narrow, narrow miss. Uh, okay. Just sinking. Uh, the last two ships. Yeah, the Bismarck, appropriate, and the Westfalen. As the, the last two ships. Uh, and the Howe is the closest. Uh, the Prince Consort's pretty close as well. Um, but there's really nowhere for them to go. There's a lot of ships um, coming their way. <laughs> They're in range of a lot of ships. Um, it's only going to take a few more hits to to knock them out. All right, let's go up to a bit faster. Game performance is starting to. Um, oops, sorry, just not the microphone. There. Game performance is starting to come back a bit. Actually, that's a good point. Um, uh, tell me, Dan. Yeah, um, the Brit Royal Navy would have been able to redirect the entire Grand Fleet pretty much um, to the the Med and uh, use them to support you know support attacking Austro-Hungary uh, Ottomans things like that um, and yeah it would have given the British a lot 
more freedom in terms of their naval fiber. Anyway, that was fun. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, no, I will not play that, that again because I am exhausted after that. Um, I think I'm going to say that's it for Ultimate Admiral for this week. But as a little bonus, why don't we play something else? Um, because I do have a little bit of time and I am in the mood for more nonsense with boats. But space boats. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, uh, what I'm going to try and do... Uh, I know it's the screen's gone black um, just now. Um, but I am loading up another game, which is... Um, I mean, if you're a fan of Ultimate Admiral, then you might be a fan of this as well. Um, and you probably can guess from my username and my picture and everything that I uh, absolutely adore this universe. Um, so I'm very quickly going to get it up wherever it's gone. It's still launching. Jesus. Hurry up. <laughs> Let's put it on intermission. Fancy. <laughs> Again, it's all just a black screen uh, until I manage to get the thing up. Come on. It says you're running, but you're not. Why are you doing this to me? Mm -hmm. Oh, it is launching. Okay. And then it crashes. Of course it does. <laughs> it doesn't normally crash. Hold on. Uh, right, you. I want you to capture any full screen app. Will you do that for me? No. Specific window. Oh, come on. Tell you what. I, I'm still not completely au fait with how all this stuff works. Um, no, nope, not that one. Specific window, and then I'll just wait for it to load up and I'll go back to the resolution screen. This also serves as a, an opportunity for me to fiddle around with the streaming software because I'm still not quite um, like 100% with it. Um, I am trying to get to grips with. Um, all this stuff, but I'm still quite new to uh, streaming on Twitch. I mean, I did YouTube videos way back in the day, but um, yeah, I've I've not done uh, newer stuff. Right, okay, we have sound. That's something at least. Right, should be seeing something now. I hope. Please work. <laughs> no, you're just going to be annoying, are you? Really? checking that this is actually showing up. Still black. Uh, thanks for saying. Uh, how about now? Hey, it's up. Okay, awesome. Uh, if you're not familiar with this game, 
This is, uh, actually I'll change the stream info if I can remember how to do that. Um, this is Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2, which is basically Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, but Warhammer! Yes, that's right. Uh, we'll change this to uh, Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2. Done. Okay. Uh, I love this game. It's very silly. Right. Um, I'm going to play as the Adeptus of Astartes because, I mean, it's me. Um, let's go for 1v1 skirmish. Let's go for a 1v1 massive fleet. <laughs> yes. Which has, I think, just ludicrous stuff in it. That's what we want. Oh man, I think this game is on my hard disk, <laughs> still. Yeah, there we go. What am I bringing? Yes! Just silly, yes, okay, that's perfect. Select some skills, uh, sure, that one, and... Mm, that one. Upgrades, I'm gonna go for Terminators, and... Company banner. Go! <laughs> Enemy, who do we want to fight? Let us fight. Orcs might be funny, actually. <laughs> Tau, maybe. Corsairs. Eldar. Let's go with Chaos. It's always fun to fight Chaos. Loading, loading. Loading, loading, loading. Yeah, I, this must be on my hard disk. This is taking forever. It must be one of the games that I've not moved over. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh <laughs> here's my fleet. Looks good. <laughs> Stick you all in a one big big old blob. Wonderful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> right. Go! Forward. This is a very, very silly game, by the way. But it is fun. <laughs> Speed up. Get nice and close. Oh look, enemy vessels. It'd be a shame if something we were to happen to them. Ha 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 ha. I am listening. I am listening. Launch interceptors. Ah. Pathetic. What else you got? Chaos. Enemy in sight. 
Enemy in sight. Right. All units. Fire boarding torpedoes. Enemy in sight. Ha ah, ah. ha. Heavy damage registered. Oh, there goes my escort. Escort craft destroyed. Oh no, not my escort. Bad day for you, mate. Firing torpedoes. The enemy fleet seems to have disintegrated. Ha ha! Are they mut mutinying and running away? Our cannot be denied. Well, that's quite funny. Boarding successful. That's right. You better run. Boarding caused critical damage. Show us the enemy! Boarding successful! That is impossible! Teleport attack successful! Ah. That is impossible! Launch Thunderhawks! Strike quickly, brothers. They're a drifting hulk. Good. Underway. Successful <laughs> teleport strike. Teleport attack 
Oh, is that? Oh, oh, how where we are needed. How sneaky. We stand ready. Redirecting. and tech marines begin repairs. Oh, that's that. Enemy in sight. That is impossible. Enemy in sight. Enemy in sight. On. Get his shields down. Or get close to him. Boarding Boarding course. Boarding course. Boarding successful. Ramming! <laughs> Our wrath cannot be denied. Proper ramming. <laughs> Give us purpose. Right, you two. Uh, lightning strikes, go. Right, what's happening over here? Um, Where shall we strike? Just keep, keep blowing them up. Targeting protocols. And initiate Thunderhawk bombardment. Successful teleport strike. Teleport strike. That is impossible. We stand ready. Where we are needed. At your command. Right. You not finish them off yet. Give us purpose. No. Still are you Moving still hiding? Position. Stop letting him hide. We stand ready. Hold course. I am listening. Repositioning. Damage at critical levels. Oh, for goodness sake. Stop being ridiculous. Show right. us the enemy. Fire. Initiate Thunderhawk bombardment. Enemy in sight. Show us the enemy. Initiate Thunderhawk bombardment. Okay. Away. Boarding successful. <laughs> Where shall we strike? Underway. Boarding caused critical damage. Main batteries fire. Launch Thunderhawks. Okay. Enemy in sight. Oh, man. <laughs> Give us purpose. Setting priority target. Where shall we strike? 
Launch Thunderhawks. Our wrath cannot be denied. At your command. Boarding mm, 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 successful. Mm, mm. Boarding successful. Engines engaged. Boarding caused critical damage. Standard speed engaged. Mm, Another chapter. Our wrath cannot be denied. Come out. Board them. Show us the enemy. Launch Thunderhawks. Give us purpose. Launch Thunderhawks. Tech Marines, calm the machine spirits. I am listening. Our wrath cannot be denied. Boarding successful. Hmm. Boarding caused critical damage. I mean, it's what I end up doing in Ultimate Admiral anyway. Is Our wrath cannot be denied. Moving to position. It will be destroyed. Initiate Thunderhawk bombardment. We stand ready. Mm. Give us purpose. Initiate Thunderhawk bombardment. All servitors and tech marines begin repairs. Obliterate the target. <laughs> oh, looks like they're gonna blow themselves up. Bye bye. <laughs> Show us the enemy. Initiate Thunderhawk bombardment. Victory is ours. <laughs> anyway, um, that's a little uh, bonus, <laughs> a little bonus um, stuff at the end of the stream there, just because I I I, I, do, I I do enjoy this game. <laughs> uh, it's just very silly. Um, anyway, thanks for joining me today. Um, if you enjoyed um, any of the content today, uh, please have a look at my YouTube channel. Should be a link on screen just now. Um, all my previous stuff's up there, um, including now I've added a playlist for all the Ultimate Admiral Taskmaster stuff. Uh, and um, as well, if you have a look at my Patreon, there's a link on screen as well. If you really like what you see, then um, I, you know, I, I'm incredibly uh, grateful to anyone who considers even having a look um, it, re it really re really helps uh, with keeping this like giving me ideas for the stream uh, like it, it's just it's just awesome and of course you unlock exclusive rewards and um, if you're an ultimate Admiral fan and you want to me to do one of your scenarios then the best way is to join up on the on the patreon because I, I take those requests. Uh, pretty seriously and I do them pretty much as soon as I can um, otherwise if you are in on uh, the twitch stream uh, like this one they won't all be this long um, then uh, yeah I, I, I'm happy to do uh, scenarios and stuff uh, live I just had an idea for today uh, and if you enjoyed the uh, bonus uh, Battlefleet Gothic stuff then uh, 